of conservative rural MPs have said while he's reaching for the red wall, the old Labour seats in the north, he's actually overlooking the so-called blue wall. So Do not underestimate just how safe the Tories thought the seat was. In December 2019, at that election, barely 18 months ago, they won by almost 30 percentage points. That's about 16,000 votes. And yet, scroll forward to the day, they've somehow lost the seat. What's happened? While well, talking to Tory MPs this morning, one thing that kept on coming up on the doorstep again and again were the planning reforms, Boris Johnson's drive to loosen planning rules so that more houses can be built across the country. The Lib Dems actually put Theresa May's face on leaflets, the former Tory Prime Minister, and quoted her being very critical of some of those planning reforms. One Tory MP told me that really cut through. Another issue with HS2, High Speed Rail 2, um, again in Conservative Shire seats, there has been some nervousness about the project, uh, partly because it goes right through some of these um, communities and local areas. And again, that appeared to be brought up a lot on the ground in Chesham. But it also raises big questions about Boris Johnson's Red Wall strategy. He's had huge success reaching out to former Labour heartland areas in the North East and the Midlands with this message, partly on Brexit and delivering Brexit, and partly on hearing the anger some voters have and promising change. But the thing is, to deliver his levelling up agenda, he needs to spend a lot of money on hospitals, schools, infrastructure projects, the high street. And yet, traditional conservative fiscal policy uh, suggests you should be bringing down spending. And we've seen record spending levels during the pandemic. And so there's a tension there. In fact, a lot of conservative rural MPs have said while he's reaching for the red wall, the old Labour seats in the north, he's actually overlooking the so-called blue wall, those uh, countryside Tory constituencies that have been the bedrock of uh, the Conservative political success in the past. So what I think you're going to see in the wake of this result is that a fair few Conservative MPs saying, well, hang on, yes, we're going for these Labour, traditional Labour areas, but we can't overlook our historic core voter bloc in the South. And clearly also there's going to be talk about whether the Lib Dems can now trigger a revival. They've been out of power and out of favour for more than half a decade now. In the polls, they're not doing particularly well. Then in Chesham and Amersham, they've showed they can still pull off these shock by-election wins by flooding the ground with activists. Very clever picking of issues to uh, peel off voters from the government. It's early days to say, but possibly we could begin to see an upswing in the Lib Dems' fortunes.